You can't give what you don't have. You can't love if you haven't been loved. You don't even know how to begin to do that. So I think it begins with fundamentally understanding that you are worthy enough, you are valuable enough, you matter enough to give yourself the love that you deserve. And that starts by taking out time for yourself. I have my own rhythm and pattern. I know that if I go six days and then on the seventh, by the seventh or eighth, don't give myself a break, that lots of other things give, that I'm not as alert, I'm not as attuned, I'm not as centered, I'm not as focused. So I know that that is my limit. I cannot go beyond a certain amount of days. And for me, um, walking in nature is my solace. It is where I feel that I am one with all and all being, you know, all creation and, you know, connected. For other people, it may be dancing, it may be music, it may be knitting, it may be whatever it is that brings some kind of the rhythmic pattern. That's why when you've been in an argument with someone or you're in the middle of an argument with somebody, if you just go and take a walk or you go and turn on some music and you start dancing, if you just have some form of movement, you feel better. That's number one. Number two, one of the most important things, most, most important takeaways from what happened to you, I believe, is understanding how the brain works. So you see that beginning with the brain stem, that's the lower part of the brain, all the way to the cortex and through the limbic area, you understand that when you're upset or in fear or angry or are in, in an antagonized state, and you're trying to reason with a person, a child, your spouse, your boss, your friend, they literally cannot hear you because the reasoning part of the brain is in the cortex and what you're saying is only reaching the brain stem. So whenever somebody is dysregulated, which is what that is, being ang anxious and fearful and yelling and screaming, the thing to do is to calm yourself first then you will be able to help that other person get calm and regulated. That's how you get to reason. But if you both are just yelling at each other, literally, and you're going, you don't hear me, and you don't hear me either, and you don't hear, they actually cannot hear you. 